Your boom pineapple wine, your dollar fifty all the time. Picking up exactly where we left off in the last video, after screwing in the switch panel, it was now time to get it wired up. I used butt connectors to connect my extension wires. Pro tip, after every connection, always do a quick tug test. It'll save you in the future. I specifically chose a switch panel that was pre-wired for the ease of integrating it with my system. The switch panel has two positive wires coming off of it and two negative wires. My goal here is to connect those two positive wires to the positive bus bar and the two negative wires to the negative bus bar. I don't need fuses with this switch panel because it comes with breakers installed. Off camera I measured out the length of the positive wire and negative wire I would need to join to the existing wires to connect them to their bus bar. I also crimped a ring terminal on the end of each wire. Four wires in total, two for negative, two for positive. I always use heat shrink butt connectors and ring terminals. Now it's time to get those all shrink down and seal those connections. After connecting the negative and positive wires to their respective bus bars, the next step would be to connect my equipment to the load side of the switch. Yeah, I don't think I actually have footage of that. Uh, what I have footage of is me putting the stickers on the switch panel. So what I actually did here was, as I connect the wire to the load side of the switch, I would test it. If it's working, then I put the sticker on it. If you made it this far in the video, here's proof that everything does work.